speed limiters which have been mandated by the European Union are set to be introduced on UK cars in July could lead to countless legal and road safety issues. The driving law changes are expected to be introduced on new cars manufactured from July 6, 2022, with a new technology called the Intelligent Speed Assist ISA. Although the UK has left the European Union, it is expected that the rules will also apply in the UK since most driving laws have been transferred for ease of manufacturing. The technology is designed to warn drivers when they are approaching the speed limit. The European Transport Safety Council ETSC, had been pushing for a system that cuts engine power once the legal speed limit has been reached. This was scrapped, however, after widespread concerns surrounding the danger of cutting engine power at higher speeds. It will instead play an audio warning before the vehicle exceeds the speed limit. The council has warned that the audio could be less effective when it comes to slowing cars down and could even be seen as annoying by some drivers. Ben Pepper, associate solicitor at Bolt Bird and Kemp, commented on the impending introduction of speed limiters and the impact it could have on drivers. Speaking to Express.co.uk, he said, there is no denying that speed kills. Compulsory ICE software, it could be a huge leap forward for road safety. It is the potential to drastically reduce the number of deaths and serious injuries. However, as with most forms of new technology, there are limitations and risks. There is the potential for the GPS or sign recognition symptoms not picking up on variable speed limits or temporary signs. Signs may also be detected incorrectly. For example, the 60 miles per hour signs on the backs of lorries. The regulation was initially approved by the European Parliament in 2019 in a bid to improve road safety across the continent. The 2019-2044 regulation also mandates all new cars that have already launched be fitted with an ISA by July 7, 2024. Mr Pepper added, drivers of cars fitted with speed limiters may seek to claim that it was the software that caused them to crash. Any such claims are likely to be unsuccessful, as the driver should not have been exceeding the speed limit. However, lawyers will always look at claims on a case-by-case -case basis to see where the fault lies. It could be argued that there is no point in making this software mandatory if the driver can simply switch it off. However, this function could help to encourage public acceptance. The ability to switch the system off could eventually be removed. With these advancements in technology and also the gradual introduction of autonomous vehicles, we will no doubt see more and more cars sticking to the speed limit in future.
If the widespread use of the ISA technology is successful, it could be seen as a massive step forward in developing self-driving cars.